Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. I am going to ship all of these items. There's a lot of items in here, y'all. This bag is heavy today. Um, I got about 14 items going out. So I'm going to go put all my labels on everything and get everything ready for him to pick up. Okay. It's not too cold out here this morning. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'll be in the office in like a minute, okay? So yeah, y'all, I'm going to double check to see if he's out here. It's only 9.04. The office just opened at 9 o'clock. So I was making sure I gave them enough time to get over here. Because one day they said that they seen him at 8.30 in the morning. And I'm like, how y'all see him at 8.30 in the morning? Yeah, I don't even open up until um, 9 o'clock. But he's not here yet. So he's taking these packages today. Because he got me behind trying to be funny. I was going to go up here and take them. But I'm like, you know what? No, that's your job. I've sent out over, over 3,000 orders to come loud that is. I have sent out over 3,000 orders since I started my business. And 90% of those were USPS. And the other like 10% was UPS and FedEx. So it's like, no, come do your job. I do my job and I try to do my job really good. You come do your job. So I gotta come over here super early, which normally I come over here around 10.30. I'm coming over here early just to make sure that he does not leave these packages today. Okay? Hopefully they're open because the sign is saying 9 o'clock and it is 9 o'clock. Sometimes they might be a little, you know, late. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go get my shipping labels. They got the music going right now, okay? And I'm going to get on that computer. Okay, I got a few more in my bag. And I am going to put the shipping labels on these. Some already have them from the other day. But I'm going to put the shipping labels on here. And then I'm going to make me some coffee. And I'll be done for the day as long as he comes today. <laughs> Except for um, customer service and add more items to my closet. Okay. Okay, I got my shipping labels. I think this is all of them. Because some of the items I already have shipping labels. I put some on the other day. So we're going to add these. To the packages okay okay i was missing this one so i just gotta add this i'm not going to our address add this to this and i'll be done with that part okay and all this stuff is getting ready to go out then i'm gonna make me some coffee Okay, y'all, I'm taking my packages over to him because I'm not sure if he's going to come get this stuff. So, you know what? I'll just take it to him because my customers will be receiving the items soon. <laughs> so here we go. Take it y'all with me. I'm not about to keep playing with him. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go to the house in a minute because my husband is supposed to be getting me some items from the store. And then I want this Valentine's Day cup I told him to get me. So I'm going to let y'all see it when I get it, okay? Okay, y'all, now I'm heading towards my garage so I can put this big old bag up. Because normally I don't really need this big bag, but I've been getting like 10 to 14 orders each time I ship. And I ship... Um, three times per week which is Monday Wednesday and Friday 
and so I'm gonna put it in the garage if I need it I'll just come back out here and get it because I got some medium-sized bags that I could use then I'm going to make sure that all of my spring items are in the house because I did see a few in some of these totes that I have I seen like some tank tops and stuff I'm gonna grab those and make sure that they're listed because I probably got about 15 more items I need to list today on Depop and on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, y'all, that's what I got going on. Okie dokie. So like I said, um, there's a couple spring items that I want to bring in the house. There's some two-piece sets, there's some dresses, skirts, stuff like that. I'm gonna bring those items in the house because what I did is I put all the heavier items out here already so yeah y'all and i still got to make these little valentine's day little treats for my customers <laughs> i gotta grab some candy first though y'all i'm just sitting here enjoying the breeze that's a good thing about working for yourself i'm in my garage it's quiet out here because a lot of people are at work and I came over here to grab some some more of these spring items. There's one right there, but that can stay hung up because I already got one of those bagged up. If somebody orders, I can just throw it in a poly bag and put their name on it. But yeah, y'all, I love it. I love the freedom. I get up and I do my same routine, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I list my items when I, they need to be listed. And I'm just over here sitting on my futon, enjoying the breeze. That's how it be. I love selling clothes. Instead of working for somebody 40 hours per week, I could sell 40 items per week. It's the same difference, period. Have a blessed day. Okay, I wanted to do a quick video about taking pictures of the item. Now, me personally, I try to take a picture the same way every single time. So every time I take a picture of my item, you can see the background of that tree picture. And I'll take my pictures right here every time. So it just looks pleasing on the eye when someone goes into your boutique and everything looks exactly the same. It, I feel like it'll keep them looking through more items. If everything looks clean, the background looks clean, everything around it looks clean. If I go to somebody's boutique or to their closet and I see a whole bunch of junk in the back, I'm not gonna purchase an item from them because I feel like I'm gonna get a junky item, just me personally. So I got you know my little glass butterflies up here. I try to you know design the little area where I'm taking my pictures. And if you go into my boutique or my Facebook closet or my Poshmark closet or Macari or Offer Up Let Go or eBay, all of my items look exactly the same. I don't um, grab screenshots of other people's photos or, um, you know, a company's photos. I notice people doing it. I mean, that's on them, but I just would not um, prefer to do it. Me personally, you know, they're like stock photos. That's, I mean, because I feel like if the item is used and then you go and you grab a stock photo of a brand new item, how is that being honest when the item is used? So I don't really know the actual condition of the item. I need to see the actual item because if I'm going on a, I'm looking at the stock photo and then I get my item and there's like pills and a hole, like I almost feel like posting stock photos is kind of deceiving because that's not the item that I'm actually going to get. I post the item that you will actually get. So I post, I take a picture of the front. I do a close up picture, you know. I describe the sleeve length. Like this is kind of like a three fourths uh, quarter sleeve and it has the pretty little design. You want them to see this. You want them to see how beautiful these clothes are. This could be worn as a coat shoulder. It's a size medium. So you show them that, you show them the tag. It's made in India, you know what I'm saying? Um, show them everything about the item so they'll fall in love with the item, you know? And anyway, this is the MSRP, it's $50, good quality. Then, not only that, you do close-ups, then you turn the item around, you show them the back. Show them everything about the item. I think that's why I get so many orders like on Facebook Marketplace. Like I show them everything. I tell them if it's stretchy material. If not, I would rather them not order from me. Um, if they're thinking that the 
item is stretchy and it's not i'm, I'm letting them know no it's not stretchy. well this is right here though but this is a medium um if it's not stretchy i'll tell them no it's not stretchy i'm sorry because i feel like they want that extra stretch you know especially women who are you know more you know fluffy like myself ain't no wrong with it though but i just wanted to say you know you tell people the truth i would rather you not order from me because I'm trying to be deceiving to get the order. I would rather just not even get the order. I'll tell people in a minute, no, it's not stretchy. Or yes, it is stretchy. Or, you know, it's um a sheer fabric and it's not stretchy. This is pretty stretchy. And you just let them know, like, hey, this is this, this is that. Because either way it goes, you're going to get a whole bunch of orders from being honest in the first place. So I just want to do a quick video of that. And yes, I do not use stock photos because, I mean, first of all, the item is on a model. We are not all the same body type. We are not all the same height. I'm five foot, y'all. So clothes look way different on me than a tall six foot woman. So I'm just going to just show a picture of the actual item. And you can determine if you can fit it or not. I put every detail that I possibly can in there. And then like if you, if the lady wants um, um, armpit to armpit, like this to this i'll take that because you know i'm like um what am i 15 across so i know that i'm 15 inches across so i need to make sure that i can fit into the item um some people ask me to measure the hips which you know i get it uh, you know we're just all made differently so just make sure that you are posting really good quality pictures of your items so your item will sell i mean I, I feel like the picture sells itself you know just my experience. I mean, I saw a lot of plus size clothes. This is a medium top right here. I got this from the mall for $3.99. Y'all know I'll be bargain shopping, but the MSRP is 50. So I'm about to put this back on Facebook Marketplace in a minute, because that's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, uploading my items. And then sometimes I post items over here by the Paris picture. So, you know, you don't want to make it look decent, you know? And this is my bedroom, but I take all my pictures right here because the lighting is good. So, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to add that into it. Make sure that your pictures are good quality pictures. I got an iPhone. What's this iPhone? iPhone 13 Pro. And I also have an Android, but I use um, this phone for, like, all of my pictures and all of my videos. But, yeah, y'all, have a blessed day. Kay Denise, I'm out.